Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another huge cumulative thrift outlet haul to share. I went back to my two favorite spots here in Houston, both the Goodwill bins, otherwise known as the Goodwill outlet, where we pay $2.19 per pound if it's under 50 pounds. If you buy over 50 pounds, they do give you a discounted rate of $1.79 per pound. I usually don't hit that though, unfortunately. I just can't find enough. And then the second place that I shop is the Family Thrift Center outlet where I go on Thursdays. I'm there at 7 a.m. and everything in the store is $2. That's their most expensive day and that's when they restock merchandise for the week. So everything you'll see here, each item I paid right around that $2 mark and let's go ahead and get into it. As always, our, I will start off with some accessories, some shoes, and then we will get into clothing. So our first piece in this haul is this really beautiful Pendleton bag. It's a 100% wool exterior in this kind of signature Pendleton Southwestern print. So cool. I knew exactly what this was when I saw it in the bin. Um, and I ran over to it. The accents are genuine leather. It has a little tassel to open and close. I, I kind of stuffed it with plastic thrift store bags and this is the interior, beautiful shape. We have the Pendleton Creed here. So yeah, very happy to find this. I don't know what I'll list it at. I'm not sure what it retails for, um, but I'll probably list it right around that $100 mark if I had to guess just off the top of my head. And then I stumbled into a huge pile of suspenders, men's suspenders, which I have really no experience with, but I know from Instagram that they do sell pretty well. So this is pretty representative of how it was in the bin. I just saw this huge pile and threw it into my cart. I'm not going to show you each one of them, but there are some really nice ones in here. There's like these silk printed, they're silk and leather for the most part, and a lot of them are this brand Trafalgar, which I did know about this brand selling well with suspenders before I found these, so I definitely grabbed all of the ones that were this brand. The I believe the silk ones go for more as opposed to like the kind of stretchy nylon ones. Some of them have a novelty print, which those are definitely my favorite. So this one has the Hippocratic Oath, uh, like novelty print to it. It's also Trafalgar. So how cool would that be if you were like a doctor and you had some type of like event to go to? This one has a novelty print of an owl. So neat. These are silk. And last one that I will show an up close of is this duck printed silk um, pair. So really cool. I always love experimenting with new brands and new items. And this is definitely kind of out of my wheelhouse. So definitely looking forward to seeing how those will do. We have one belt. I really like this. It is Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren, which in clothing, the brand sells very well for me. This is, I think it's a size extra large, which is even better. Yes, extra large. Here is the brand there. Very boho and just a very high quality feeling belt. Obviously genuine leather, so. I think that should sell maybe 28 to 35 ish. This is a J. Crew men's scarf. Just a nice neutral gray color. I think it's 100% wool. Yes, 100% wool. And happy to throw this up in my men's closet. I got a lot of stuff for my men's closet in this haul, you will see love selling over there. I've talked about it so many times, but I usually either get very fair offers or full price sales in my men's closet. 
So this is a fun leopard scarf. It has a tassel fringe and anything leopard really I will pick up. This is like super soft and you know, you can wear it just very, um, you know, it has like a lot of weight to it, I guess, or not weight, material to it. So you can kind of loop it around or tie it. You could even wear this as like a, you know, a wrap, wrap it around you. And let me see, I'll do this last scarf here and then show the shoes. So this is just Halogen from Nordstrom, but I thought it was super chic and it looks brand new, so I had to get it. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I know it's some type of scarf, but there's a hole in the scarf towards the bottom hem and then I believe you just kind of add the other side there to kind of crisscross it. I don't know if this is really showing, but yeah, I just thought it was super chic with the faux fur and it's incredibly soft. So that should be a nice little winter accessory for someone. Okay, just a couple pairs of shoes this week. Clark's Artisan like an Oxford style shoe. I really like the color block, black and brown. They have a little bit of a platform, genuine leather, really nice shoes. I'll probably add keywords like academia, Oxford, preppy, um, color block, two-tone. Okay, oh yeah, last pair of shoes, Terra M. Never heard of or sold this brand, but I did a quick research a little bit of quick research on it when I was shopping and the comps looked pretty good I believe it's a comfort brand I was initially drawn to it because of this stacked heel and back as well as the soft supple leather it's very nice feeling and if you can see there's like a built-in kind of like comfort pad in the shoe they're in great shape size 10 so yeah again very excited to kind of try out a new brand there so getting into clothing now we have a lot to get through first item is this beautiful kate spade floral lace overlay top this is already sold it's sold in a bundle i forget what the bundle price was it will be in a shipping video soon I will be filming that shipping video tomorrow. This was probably one of my favorite finds from everything. This is Saison, which this is without a doubt a brand to remember. Let me show you the inside tag. I think it will be a little bit easier to see the brand name. Yes, Saison. we go this is a size small it's like a sweater material pleated midi skirt really pretty kind of closet staple you could tuck like a turtleneck sweater into this or even just like a turtleneck top or I don't know I don't know what it is about turtlenecks but you know any type of like winter top you could tuck into this and it would be so pretty so chic Okay, you will notice that I tried to pick up a lot of shackets, otherwise known as shirt jackets, because they have been huge, very trendy, and this is in that same kind of vein. This is a 2X Chaps Denim shacket style, um, kind of like over shirt. So it's a check, and it's like a flannel material, and it does zip all the way down I will probably model this for the listing but if this were a size like men's small I wouldn't have gotten it just because it is specifically meant to be worn oversized as like a layering piece so I had never heard of this brand but again I did a little bit of qu quick research at the bins and I saw that this is definitely a bolo, Heart's Desire by Mary Grace. It looks like they make a lot of like prairie, cottagecore, lag and look style dresses and pieces. And they retail on 
They retail for, I, I forget, it's like around 150-ish and it looks like they sell for around 100. The comps were really good on Poshmark. So I think I listed this right at $100. It's a really pretty little dress. I added, you know, every keyword I could think of, cottagecore, prairie, boho, lag and luck. This is the up close print. It's like a whimsical floral print. And then the bottom hem has this like gathered effect to it. Even the pockets have a little kind of like fringe tassel detail. So lots of little quirky details to this, a really pretty piece there. A pair of J. Crew velvet crimson colored pants here. This is one of the newer tags from J. Crew. That was what first drew me to these. And then I saw that they were excellent condition and a great fall color, had to grab them. They are a size 27, nine inch high rise toothpick. I was gonna see what year they are from. Yeah, fall 2018. So great shape there. Another item that has already sold, I just accepted an offer on this for $28. I forget what I had it listed for. I want to say 35 ish. It's Torrid Super Soft Fleece 4X Open Front Cardigan. It's a hooded cardigan. It's in this oatmeal color. Incredibly soft. This is one of those materials that's, it's just, it's like a cloud like kind of fleece. Is that what it says? No. No. I'm, I didn't just repeat the tag. It has, it's long line, it has pockets at the hips, great neutral color. A more quirky piece here, Maeve from Anthropology. And I mainly picked this up for the kind of silhouette or construction of the piece, as well as the print. So, it's like this kind of micro geometric little print to it. Super cute and quirky. And then it is long line. Pieces that are long line just sell definitely better for me. It has a little bit of a ruffle hem, size extra small. Another piece that's already sold. This also sold in a bundle, so I think it sold in a bundle with another item for, I want to say around $50. The brand on this is Field Flower, which is a subdivision of Anthropology. This is, I believe this is Anthro exclusive. It's a size small. Another hooded cardigan here. I've actually sold this in, in the past. And the last time that I sold it, I found the belt with it, but this I'm trying to, hold it up here but this cardigan was missing the belt and I did see that at the store I still decided to get it because I thought it would still be super cute as just like an over oh just as an open cardigan um, and that's kind of exactly what I said in the listing you know belt is missing but totally works as an open cardigan and it's still sold within a day of being listed so that just kind of goes to show you if the piece is substantial and has a lot going for it. It might still be worth picking up even with a missing accessory. It's 50% wool, it has pockets, a great neutral print, and it was in great shape otherwise. We have a men's piece, I believe, yeah. So this is an All Saints cardigan, just like an everyday lightweight cardigan, size extra small. It's ribbed lightweight. I think this is just 100% cotton. And this is the logo for All Saints. Definitely a brand to have on your radar. It sells pretty well. Men's stuff. I don't know if I've ever sold men's All Saints before, but I know that it is um, a popular brand that people are actively searching for, actively wanting to buy on the secondhand market. More J. Crew size two. I'm pretty picky with J. Crew, but as long as it's within the last like five years or so, 
and it has you know quite a bit going for it i say that but i can think of a sweater that i recently picked up that was 2012 that was 100 percent cashmere it had no flaws it was a fun color so you know there's exceptions to every rule but for the most part i like to keep it within the last five years and obviously we have this beautiful leopard timeless print and also kind of timeless cut this is just a shift dress and you know you could dress this up dress it down you could wear it to the office or you could layer like a turtleneck underneath and wear flats anthropology's house label here this is is this yeah size small little novelty print graphic t-shirt super cute there are little bunny rabbits all over so at the bend you know i probably paid maybe like 75 cents for that um and it will probably sell for around 25 ish we have a banana republic blouse size small really pretty this gave me like dolce and gabbana vibes so i did want to grab it lace overlay and then the contrasting black little tie at the neck these are j jill size eight yeah size eight linen blend vertical stripe pants so a couple reasons i got these they are a very trendy cut they're wide leg and they're more of a high rise they have this cute button detail the vertical stripe very flattering as well as being a linen blend and they're a size eight which is a great size yeah 55 percent linen so i think these should sell for right around 25 to 35 ish another men's piece this is just an oxford style button down from j crew has a little pocket at the chest contrasting white buttons just a you know nice closet staple to add to my men's closet another brand i had never heard of nvgtn i'm guessing it's navigation or maybe it's just the letters but these are a size extra large and they're an excellent shape they're a legging and this really nice kind of like purpley blue color and they have this um contouring design at the butt to i guess make the butt look better so you know i could imagine that that's a super popular style from this brand and you know the fact that they're extra large and great shape i think those were a solid pickup this is another piece that has already sold this is going back to that whole shacket trend that i was mentioning early on in the video so this is just vintage express it's like a cream ribbed texture and then you have the contrasting kind of like tortoise shell buttons going down the front with a little chest pocket i did model this just to kind of show how trendy it is and it's just a really nice fitting piece. This is super easy to just throw on when you're headed out the door for, you know, just a nice like layer to your outfit. I remember when I first started reselling, I would be ecstatic to find a blouse like this from Madewell, but nowadays it's definitely more of like a bread and butter thing for me. This is a solid 25 to 28 ish sale has a button back super cute i love the plaid print it's a nice kind of fall time print and color scheme size medium these are some linen pants from reformation and they do have some wear just some kind of fading to the linen but I still pick them up. I figure, you know, with such a high retail price and a high demand for this brand, I could still, you know, see them selling for around $30. They have the little ties at the ankles, super cute. Next, Eileen Fisher. 
again bread and butter for me here even though this has a, an extremely high retail price it's probably retailed for 150 to like 190 dollars it will not resell for that much it will probably go for 35 ish possibly 40. it's a nice kind of um, neutral gray color long line it does drape in front and this is a silk linen blend yeah 60% silk 40% linen so a really nice kind of natural fabric makeup there another yet another brand I had never heard of so this was definitely just the haul to you know discover new brands and do research. I was trying to find a tag. Here it is. It is new with tags, Saints and Secrets. And obviously this tag drew me to the piece as well as the construction and the print. This is so flattering on. I did try this on for the listing. It has a lace up back, really cute polka dot print and the dress has a nice structure to it it's not actually okay it is boning so it does have boning in the chest area and lots of ruffles it has a lot happening so i think this should sell pretty well again i do not remember the retail price on this i want to say it was around a hundred dollars actually no i don't think it was that much i want to say maybe 60 to 80 ish it gets you know when you have so many items everything gets kind of fuzzy but i want to say the retail was around 70 ish and i listed it around 50 ish i will say so if you guys are interested i should have every single thing up in my closet listed in my poshmark closet by the time this video goes live if you guys are curious what i list anything for or you know what the retail price is i always try to include um you know the original retail price in my listings next we have a 100 percent cashmere sweater it has this like fold over detail at the shoulder another piece that i did model and you know this is just a great again kind of wardrobe staple especially for fall and winter time it's from neiman marcus cashmere collection size extra small this probably retailed for around 250 dollars neiman marcus their cashmere stuff sells retails very high pretty much everyone's cashmere stuff retails high so you know that should be a pretty good sale i will pick up pretty much anything that is 100 percent cashmere especially if it has a really chic silhouette like that top that sweater does a more fun find here this is an embroidered t-shirt it has an embroidered map of the united states how precious is this so this is where does it say yeah it says here map of the united states is it focusing and then i'll just kind of pan around all of the embroidery i'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see this but i just kind of fell in love with this t-shirt it does have several several flaws to it mainly just some staining but i really don't think that will detract too much from this amazing embroidery the brand is cambridge country store size large next up we have a fun vintage dress this is a midi or maxi length vintage dress the base has this plaid print to it and then it has like a built-in velvet vest overlay that ties in back so this was just very 90s to me lgs size 10 this kind of stuff sells super well very trendy that would be so cute with some doc martens chunky doc martens another top that has already sold this is the brand alpen rock which yet again 100 percent a brand you guys should write down take note of so this is they usually always have this little logo crest somewhere on the piece 
Alpenrock. That is the brand. I think that's the only place that, well, it says it back here as well. And Wild at Heart, lots of embroidery. The sleeve says Beaver Creek, just a nice, the pieces usually are pretty similar to this, like a thermal Henley style long sleeve. And this one does have some flaws. So it has some kind of wash wear and pilling. And then there is like a faint stain on the back of one sleeve. But the retail on these is around $200. And so that's the stain there. And so I still got it at the bins. I listed it for 35 and it sold for full price. So, you know, kind of going back to what I was mentioning earlier, if the retail price is up there or if it's a very popular sought after brand, it can still be worth it to pick it up. Just a style based grab here. This is Love Stitch, which I think is just a boutique brand. Definitely nothing, you know, to write home about, size small, medium, but I just grabbed it because I liked the embroidery. It's all over embroidery with this eyelet design, floral eyelet design, little tassels at the bottom hem. This is a pretty good find. So it's new with tags, J. Crew blazer. It's a white blazer and j crew blazers retail for a ton this is probably 150 dollars it's just a classic white color it's in the size 8t and yeah new tag still has um, all of the extra fabric and buttons blue and gray more bread and butter i do really like picking up blue and gray it is the kind of lounge um, casual vibe offset of Ann, Ann Taylor, <laughs> Ann Taylor Loft. Lou and Gray is um, kind of a subdivision to Ann Taylor Loft. And I just really like the longer length on this. It definitely has that classic slouchy vibe that Lou and Gray is known for. Love the contrasting stripe and the classic black and white. So this brand I see all the time, but I do not ever get it. Kinar, not sure. Uh, there we go. But I decided to buy this because it's a wool and alpaca blend cardigan. I also loved the style to it and the color palette. It's really like earthy toned colors it's open front and then the back has this really neat kind of swirl design long line just really cool so the style the colors as well as the fabric makeup were reasons enough for me to pick up that particular piece that's a size extra small same kind of thing with this talbots blazer i don't pick up all talbots by any means size four. However, I absolutely loved the corduroy texture as well as this emerald green color and the gold hardware. This horse bit hardware, very kind of Gucci-esque, very chic and just very classy. Again, I will add keywords like academia, preppy, um, holiday, Christmas time, Someone actually gave this blazer to me at the bin. She's very sweet. She just kind of walked up to me holding a bunch of Talbots and asked me if I sold the brand. I said not all the time, but I told her I really liked that blazer and she just kind of handed it to me. Actually, she had that green one and a red one. And so we decided I take one and she takes one. She was very nice. And so she got the red one, I got the green one. So thank you. She's definitely probably not watching this, but if you are by any chance, thank you so much. Next, we have a graphic sweatshirt. This has also already sold for $30. Very cool piece. It has this like bleach effect 
with the Harvard logo. It's long line, very soft fleece interior, size large. And you know, all of the big schools, their merchandise sells pretty well, especially if it's in like a trendy piece like that with the bleach effect. So I've sold a cardigan very similar to this in the past. Well, not similar style, but it was this same brand wish list and it was also handmade like this one is. I know that because it has this kind of faux leather strip that says handmade. That one sold incredibly well. I want to say for $45 in like a day or maybe two days and it got a ton of attention. It brought a ton of traffic to my closet and I think this should do perform similarly. So you guys know me, I absolutely love this mustard yellow color. The sleeves are so cool. They have this like pom-pom detail, very chunky knit. So yeah, boho, cute, artsy, fun. That's a size medium large. More Madewell. This is a more kind of substantial piece from them. This should sell a little bit better, size small. I love this fun, colorful stripe. It has like a tulip bottom hem there. It's a midi length, which I've talked about it before, but midi and maxi length anything. Skirts, dresses, they sell very well. Much better for me than mini length and it does have pockets, which is nice. Another brand I don't think I've ever sold or picked up, NBD collaborating with Naven. I think that's Naven Twins. I could be wrong on that size. Extra, extra small. I'm sure this was sold on Revolve. I just absolutely loved this dress. So it has this gorgeous beading on both sides. It's very heavy and substantial feeling. Let me see if I can get a close up on this beading. Just very pretty and chic. Definitely makes a statement. It's one shoulder. So apparently this is a Bolo brand for menswear, Howler Bros. I saw someone post about this like the morning I went to the bins. I forget who it was. Um, but they were saying how it sold pretty well for them and I found this so I'm expecting this to sell for around 40 ish dollars. I remember Tailored and Teal who's Melinda um, posted about selling this brand. I think she said she sold her shirt which was similar to this for 40 to 45 ish. So um, yeah definitely a brand to be on the lookout for if you sell menswear. This is I guess that's their little logo down there. It's like a, what is that? Like a monkey? Okay, next gorgeous piece here. This is a two piece, two item piece or two in one, I guess. So it's a dress and then a robe over top. They are, you know, you can wear them separately. It's a vintage Victoria's Secret, which this stuff can sell very well. Definitely something to look out for. So I guess I'll show them separately. So this is first off the little dress, which has a really pretty lace trim at the neckline. Lovely little floral print and then a ruffle bottom hem. So again, lots of keywords here, cottage core, prairie, you could even put like grandma core, some of the wild ones that the kids are making up these days. And then the robe that goes over it, also gorgeous, has this beautiful lace trim and um, you know, just a really nice set here. So I'm not sure what I'll list this for. I wanna say, maybe 75 to 85 ish. I need to look up comps. I could definitely see the sold comps on that ranging from 85 to 100, 125 ish. Do not underestimate vintage Victoria's Secret, especially if you have like a complete set. It's a very substantial like maxi length uh, 
set and you know lots of details floral print lace trim very good pickup there okay yet another brand i had never heard of never seen before dr collectors and again guys memorize this tag memorize this brand they collaborate with free people sometimes and their free people collab items which this could have been one of them retail on those ranges from like 300 to 600 dollars very expensive they're all you know unique one-of-a-kind pieces little button-up detail at the shoulder it has like a nautical what is that like an anchor or whatever on the button the embroidered graphic says cowboys make better lovers by dr collectors this uh, grammar here kind of bugs me but i guess that's just an extra little quirk to the piece it has this like sun washed uh kind of wash to it sun wash kind of vibe or look to it very broken in worn in i did list this at 85 dollars just because i i know that this retailed for probably two or three hundred dollars definitely something to keep your eye out for anthropology hg in paris this is a jumpsuit which jumpsuits and rompers sell very well and this is like a high neck really pretty color with the tie waist wide leg cut super flattering all the model pictures were so incredibly flattering and this jumpsuit there are none listed in this color and size same size like the in combination the color and size there are none listed on Poshmark this is a size large so that's always my cue to price a little bit higher because if someone is looking for the specific jumpsuit in a size large you know I'm the only one that has it I don't have to compete with a hundred other sellers and I mean it is beautiful very flattering love the color another men's piece here Lauren by Ralph Lauren 3x just a nice fall winter shirt jacket kind of jacket um, I am going to market this towards men though I mean a woman obviously could wear this and it would be super cute but I don't know something about this one just looks a little bit more kind of masculine in my opinion it looks more like a shirt and less like a jacket I think that's why but it's a great size great condition just a pull-on pair of Madewell shorts here again very bread and butter size medium army green with pockets I don't always grab Chico's but when I do it has a lot going for it I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Chico's tag and this jacket is gorgeous it's long line neutral color scheme and look at the beading on these sleeves it's like a velvet texture at the wrist and then beaded detailing if there were even one bead missing from these sleeves i would not have picked this up but this jacket is flawless i love the tapestry texture to it it's fully lined and I could tell it was a larger size which larger sizing in Chico's sells very well for me I think this measured like an extra extra large it has like this gold trim with velvet texture I mean there's so much going for this trendy pair of American Eagle pants I just grabbed these because they are the newer tag and I thought they would be really cute with like some chunky Doc Martens. They are, let me see, they are the super high rise skinny trouser. And once again, lots of keywords for these 90s, academia, preppy, plaid, fall time. 
back to men's John Barbados. This is like a luxury brand for men. And this shirt probably retailed for a hundred to two hundred dollars. It's from their Lux line, size medium, and just a classic button down shirt with this nice contemporary grid print. And that looks like it has never been worn. Free People, I don't, was this my first Free People piece in this whole haul? That's kind of rare, but does not disappoint. This is a great piece from Free People. Definitely something that um, sells a little bit better. This style with the very boho vibe. You have some contrasting knits and raw edges, raw seams, a lot happening, size small. And this is, I'm sure, a wool blend. Oh, 100% cotton. But the contrast does have Angora. So, yeah, just a really nice piece here. Very substantial. Madewell, this is the central shirt from Madewell, which this specific style of shirt sells very, very well from Madewell. The central shirt, I always grab it. It just, people really like the cut of this, extra, extra small. Next, a cabbie jacket. This was just me trying to um, grab more items. This is the newer tag cabbie, but you know, if it hadn't been a slower day at the bins, I probably would have left this behind size four, just because cabbie does sit for me. So, you know, it could take six months for this jacket to sell. I guess I didn't really show it off too much. It has like a peplum bottom hem and then these like half sphere gold buttons. So, you know, kind of a timeless jacket there, but cabbie just notoriously takes a long time to sell. Yet another men's brand to be on the lookout for, Mizzen and Main. And this brand makes button down shirts that are like sweat wicking and breathable. So they are pretty expensive. I want to say $150 large trim fit. This should probably sell for maybe like 30 to 40 ish. American Eagle, kind of a fun piece here, size large. This is their older tag, but I still got it because it has so much going on. It's a floral print. It's like a crossover front with a little hook and eye closure, elastic waist, which is very flattering. And then it's a romper with this kind of like maxi addition and so i mean yeah just a lot happening keyhole opening and back little waist tie and back and you know i thought this would be precious with like a hat or just any type of accessory another men's brand i'm sure you guys can tell i'm trying to stock up on pieces in my men's closet lucky brand size medium just a nice flannel plaid button down shirt j crew 100 percent silk shell sleeveless blouse and i got this mainly because it weighs almost nothing i probably paid a quarter for this but it is a great fabric you know it's 100 percent silk and obviously it is a reputable brand size six so even if i turn 25 cents into twenty dollars that's still great in my book new with tags band t-shirt here guns and roses very consistent seller here this was a solid pickup banties sell so well for me banties graphic tees especially if it's you know a well-known brand like guns and roses and it's new with tags this sweater has also already sold Definitely not a brand that I run for. Christian Siriano, which I believe he either participated or won Project Runway. I think that's right, size medium. I loved 
the print on this. It's like a minimalist grid window pane print. It's mock neck and this is a merino wool blend. So super high quality fabric, 24% merino wool with new attacks. So this was a no brainer, had to get it. I actually have sold a Banana Republic or no, Tahari sweater exactly like that in the past. It sold super quickly. So, you know, I did want to get a similar style sweater. Free people, we the free, size extra small, paper bag, tie waist shorts. I was just going to tie these really quickly. These are called the Nova shorts. They're like in a denim material. Paper bag stuff, again, it sells super well. They have this cuff at the bottom hem. I said, yeah, extra small. More new tags, Banana Republic, size small, super cute, long sleeve here. So if this didn't have this print, I would have left it behind, but it's these little skiers. <laughs> How cute is this? And they all have like a different colored shirt on. So, and it's new attacks. So this was again, a no brainer for me. It's just, oh, and it's a modal blend. So modal is definitely a little bit of a nicer quality fabric. It's super soft. Some people search just modal shirt or modal cardigan because it is extremely soft. Tory Burch medium. And you may notice when I hold this up that there is a hole here on the inner collar. And that is because this was originally a convertible sweater. So originally you could wear it like this or you can add in a turtleneck. I did not find the turtleneck unfortunately, but this is still a really nice sweater. It has some fun seam detailing down the arms nice cream color and it is 75% wool. It's very, very soft though, not like itchy or scratchy at all. Another piece that is already sold, this sold for $35. It's Disney size 22. And anything that is like pinup style that is in a larger size. This is a size 22. Anything plus size pinup style sells incredibly well for me. Plus you add the fact that this is Disney themed. It has an Alice in Wonderland print to it. So cool. It has tulle and the front is like a corset style with the hook and eye closures and then the back laces up with the keyhole. So very happy to have that as a quick sale. Made well, again, same kind of thing, just bread and butter here. Medium, little check gingham top. And this one has a little side button detail. Super cute. I like the fall color scheme there. J. Crew Factory size extra small. And this was, again, just kind of that like shacket style vibe. This is a quarter zip or half zip pullover. So it's not quite, you know, an open front shacket, but um, I like the plaid and it was just really cute. I think it's a nice little full basic, 100% cotton. This was another brand I had not heard of. There's so many unknown brands in this haul. So Kari Tra, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but this does look like it's a solid pickup. Um, definitely has a higher retail price. It's quilted, the body is quilted, and then the sleeves are a contrast wool, like cable knit, wool. So the kind of mixed media design drew me to this piece and I did end up looking it up. I think I listed this around $50 because it's in great shape. And like I said, the retail price does look pretty high. It has a hood with the drawstrings. It's really nice. 
Um, it almost feels like it could be like Lululemon. Nice pockets here. That is a size, did I say size small? And one more white blazer from J. Crew, size eight. I did find this one with that other blazer that was new with tags. Just a white 100% linen blazer. It had no stains, which was why I got it. Again, J. Crew blazers. That was probably $100 to $150. And we will end off with a couple more men's shirts. So I have sold this brand several times in my men's closet. It sells for 30 to 35 ish. In my experience, carbon to cobalt. This shirt retailed for hundred to 150 ish size medium. And it's, it's just really nice quality stuff nice print to it this would be great with you know denim wearing with jeans or you know you could wear it with uh, like a chino two pockets in front so yeah i will list that right around 35 dollars and lastly american eagle flannel shirt size medium just a nice kind of classic blue green color scheme and that is absolutely everything for this huge thrift haul i hope you guys enjoyed and you learned some new brands i know i definitely learned some new brands when i was sourcing this stuff it's always good to you know look for quality and then follow through by doing your research and always keep an open mind on you know, wanting to further your brand knowledge. That's very important with reselling. So once again, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see y'all soon. Bye guys.